Hello, everyone. I just wanted to make a quick announcement that there is an official Cubase 10.0.40 maintenance update available for download. So when you open up the Steinberg Hub, either by going File, New Project, or when you start Cubase up in the News tab, you'll see here. If you click on this, it brings you to the download page. And here you can download either the Mac or the Windows install file. You can also check out the version history PDF here. And if we scroll down to 10.0.40, here's the list of all the things they've corrected. There's various bug fixes. And here you can see there's uh, a number of ARA things they fixed. There's things with audio export, control room, fades, the freeze function, media bay, metronome, mix console. There's two pages worth for this latest update. And one change I wanted to highlight, and which I don't think is mentioned in that version history, is they've reorganized the export audio mixdown window. So now you have these different tabs that separate out single, multiple, and locators and cycle markers. And all the additional settings are on the right-hand pane. And these windows are collapsed by default. And this keep dialog open is, I think, unchecked by default. I like to keep this dialog box open because once the export finishes, I want to remember what it was I've exported to. And I don't know if this is a new feature, but you can resize this window. So as you can see, this is the old version. And you can see here, the file name scheme was quite a bit, quite clustered, so it's difficult to read the preview file name. And all of the different options are on either side, and then you select the channels in here. I'd say it's a little bit more cleaned up in this version. You have all your extra features in drop-down menus here, and you have all your file location path, file types, all that stuff is organized right here. And as you may have noticed, I am now properly set up with all my studio stuff, and that's because I was in the process of moving. I found a great location where I can put all of my studio stuff back the way I need it. I have enough room for all my studio stuff, all of my acoustic treatment, including my bass traps. And there's enough room for my keyboards, my synths. And I have a bookshelf right behind me and it acts as a diffuser. So it's a much more ideal setup than I had before. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye-bye.